got some Ronnie has brought a red dangerously close to the bolt line. It will cut into the left centre pocket, but there is also a long red on as well. Positionally, the long red is possibly the easier, but the pot significantly more difficult. Well, it wasn't that difficult, and he'll be disappointed to have missed it, but he won't be disappointed with the outcome. Touching ball. Touching ball, which means that uh, Stuart can fire away and he's deemed to have hit the red he's touching. Just wants to cover the path to the red that's in the balk end. Don't want to leave a gap between yellow and brown and looks as though he's achieved that. The miss. Stuart Kangson four. Oh, goodness yeah. gracious me. How has he not contacted a red there? He must be a cigarette paper away. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Leo, do you want to check that for me, please? That's where it was, and that's where it is now. So that red knees move, uh, the cue ball knees moving further, further over to the right. It was sort of in line with the green, more than anything. Yeah, sure. Thank you. The problem is, if it's not in exactly the same place, and Ronnie makes a minor adjustment, he could miss. The pack of reds. I mean, he's such a big target, you wouldn't expect him, but he didn't want to slide past them. But played exactly the same shot, this time a little bit more pace touching did the ball. trick. And another touching ball. a mistake, he just didn't catch them. One. Well, no reason not to. There are a couple of open reds, but couldn't wish for a better angle on the blue here to bring all the reds into play and bring the pink into play at the same time. Yep, there you go. 
Well, it's not too bad. Six. You can imagine, can't you, Judd Trump playing that shot? I think he'd be injecting twice as much pace into it as Stuart Carrington did. But it still works out well for him. Problem is. Although the black's available, there's a red just occupying the black spot a little there that Stuart would like to remove as soon as he could. Well, I do feel that Stuart Carrington now needs to stun down the table for that black or red, rather, that's just to the left of the black spot there. And then he can pot the black afterwards and the black will go onto its spot and be potable. I think he needs a place. That looks about perfect. 18. Stuart Carrington knocked decidedly out of sorts in the first frame, made a lot of mistakes, but he's really settled down now. It's dangerous. I know Sullivan could have a match on his hands here. Well, there's plenty of margin of error here. There's the end red that goes, and there's a one in the middle of them, and he's not good on any of, or either of them. 34. OK, finishing low will give an opportunity in potting this to bring other reds into play, but not guaranteed to be on the colour. 35. Didn't get any action on the cue ball at all. OK, this black's still cuttable, but it's not as easy as it should have been. from Stewart's a good pot held the cue ball beautifully for the choice of red so he's looking very good at the moment forty three given the position of the reds he'll realise that it's very important that he wins the frame from an opportunity like this if he makes a mistake to give Ronnie an opportunity he'll probably fancy Ronnie clearing up Fifty. 
51. Not got complete control of the cue ball, but keeps potting the balls and just makes that a little bit harder if you're struggling for position. But he's recovered that nicely and perfect on this red now. And if he gets good position on the black, 50. surely that's frame over. Well, as you can see, he's just the wrong side of straight, but it's amazed me he's making such hard work of this. He could stun on and off the cushion with his lively cloths. You can widen angles like you can't believe. In the end, he decided to play the screw shot. Not perfect on the red, but as he only needs the red and the colour, shouldn't cause a problem. And this blue now to go 71 points in front with just 67 remaining. Ronnie missed a few long pots in the second frame, ones you'd expect him to get. And he's now 28, just over 28 minutes since he last potted a ball. Funny game, Snooker. Yeah, Stuart can relax a little bit now. He's over the winning line in this frame, firing the snooker. Oh, he's missed the red now. Stuart oh, Cutting. Turn to the table. 67. Just needs a one snooker to draw. Oh, he's had enough. A big frame always is in the best of seven. The fourth frame will someone have a 3 1 lead or all square? So the danger signals are there for Ronnie. He's just got to find a way of getting first in. Opening up the reds, he's left a possible here to the left middle. I don't know whether Ronnie will be tempted. It's tricky. And there you go. It's coming up to 30 minutes since Ronnie O'Sullivan last potted the ball. He's got to be careful. He doesn't leave that a shot of that red to the left of the brown here. Well, he's played the cross double. And he's got the cross double. Now is his cue ball going to bounce? Needs to bounce up for the black. One. Well, it's bounced, but this black is a thin cut. Oh, wonderful pot. How's your luck? I think he's got a red that's just above the black that's available to the right corner. There you see it. Position on a colour, not guaranteed, though.
Nine. Well, good effort to get position on the black. It will still cut in, and I think he's in the mood to take it on at the moment, but if this goes in, I think I fancy him to make a sizable break, but goodness, it could be costly if he misses it. Oh, look at this, absolutely dead centre. Do you know, he was sitting in his chair, looking a bit forlorn, subdued, semi-comatose, and all of a sudden he just comes to the table, cross-double, and he's just bright and breezy all of a sudden, right back into the thicker things. Yeah, but he's not on a thing. He's looking at a very difficult plant to the left middle is Juarez. Gap between the two. This is tough. Oh, but it's there. 17. Well, talk about a break from nowhere. This could be that break. Yeah, this was the interesting shot. He played the cross double. But if you look, apart from the red that went in the pocket where the cue ball finished... 23. He'd have left nothing. So it's amazing now, these players. And, of course, we all know Mark Williams is a past master at playing what you think is a very dangerous shot. But when you look where the cue ball finished, it, it was more or less a shot for nothing. So Ronnie has created an opening from nowhere. Can he make the most of it? Twenty-six. And this is what frightens you to death, you know, when you play Ronnie O'Sullivan and Judd Trump, you think you've got them safe and all of a sudden they create an opportunity out of absolutely nothing like this, but he played a similar cross-double in last year's World Championship, didn't he, against James Cahill, and it wasn't the shot to play, but I think, as you say, John, it certainly was there. It was well, very well done from Ronnie's point of view to actually spot this. Have a look at this. There goes the cross-double. If you look at the pack of reds, everything's just blocking each other. There's absolutely no risk involved with that whatsoever. Very well spotted from Ronnie. And he's played a beautiful positional shot there for the red just below the pink that goes to the right corner. Inch perfect. Thirty-seven. That's the blue there. A lot of people may have thought he played a cannon, but he stunned it round of two cushions. As we say, this is a very big 44. frame. This is a, an important visit for Ronnie here. Forty-five. There was a three-quarter ball plant. It was just about straight enough for, for Ronnie to judge it. 52. Oh, he's missed the red. Now that is a little careless from Ronnie. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 52. Mm. Well, I'd, I'd like to have a look at that again there. I didn't like the contact when the red and cue ball made contact. I think he got a slight kick there. I'd like to see that again. You just watch the red. Yeah, definite bounce. That was a bad contact. Don't think it was his fault there. Whoa. You can clearly see this red ball leave the bed of the table. That was a kick. Ronnie will certainly know whether it caused him to miss the pot. It was such an easy pot. You're bound to think that it did cause him to miss. Oh, this would really hurt Ronnie O'Sullivan if Stuart Carrington were to win the frame from here. And there's no reason why he can't. Yeah, it's amazing the shots that Ronnie pulled out. Seven. And then all of a sudden... That heavy contact on the red, now certainly it was. 
just went straight on for a fraction. And a chance, as Dominic said, for Stuart Carrington to pinch this frame now. And this can happen, best of sevens. Eight. No room for bad luck. with that cannon but those other two reds together just to the left of the cue ball there could cause a problem later 14. on in the break with Stewart. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. I think the two rest together there will both pot into this right-hand corner pocket. You can see in our camera angle there that they will go. That will really help Stuart Carrington. <clears throat> because when he pots one of them, and free the other one up entirely. 49. And there you have it, they both pot clearly there. So Stuart will try and get behind them for that pocket, I'm sure. Needs the right angle on the black, however. 30. And that looks just a touch straight to me. May have to play this with a bit more pace than he intended to. The rightmost red of the two together would still pot into the left centre, but it's quite a narrow angle. <clears throat> well, he's got there. Boy, that black looked wide there. But he's inch perfect. deal for Stewart at all I'm afraid because he's just overran that by several inches so he can't screw in behind that red now he's got too much angle on this black so he's got a choice here he can take the key ball in and out of bulk try and get close to this remaining red or he can leave it from mid distance but there'll be pressure on it still 14 points behind So this is it, this is the shot, if he can pot this red, Pots get five. position on a colour, frame, at his mercy. Carrington, 45. Yeah, it was a poor positional shot on the black and he couldn't get close to the red and you just got the feeling with the pressure on he needed to be closer to it than that. So Ronnie just needs to be on any colour. What? Click on the blue, no harm. Eight points to lead. There you see it just went to the near jaw. As I say, if it had been better on the black, 
he'd have been better on that red. Four. Yellow, green, brown. We'll get him to snook as required. Six. And Stuart will think in what might have been. Nine. So this brown puts Ronnie O'Sullivan 20 points in the lead with just 18 remaining. 13. Well, there's one thing about a Ronnie O'Sullivan match. There's always something happening, isn't there? There's always some excitement going on. First frame took 12 and a half minutes. 18. Second frame, a long one, nearly 16 and a half. Last one, just less than 13 and a half. And this one just coming up to 13. It's good, fast-flowing snooker. And this has been a tremendous frame and one that Stuart Carrington will look back on. him now it's gone yeah this is what happens you see when you make a mistake like that when you win a frame or lose a frame in Stewart's case that he feels he should have won you can lose the next one as well because you just can't erase it from the memory banks soon enough Slightly hampered by the brown. Four. I think the fact that he's got nothing to do with the cue ball, just drop the red in, sh should make it unmissable. And it did, nicely Five. played. I love watching Ronnie O'Sullivan strike the cue ball because it, it is a stroke, it's not a hit. You can almost you. feel the impact of the tip on the ball as he strikes through it. Nineteen. Very, very rhythmical. He just couldn't hold the cue ball there. He'd like to have been low on this red. Now it's all about how they break on him. And as our co-commentator Willie thought, it's a bit of a flat back pack. So you want to stun through these, the end red. Well, he played with a bit of screw as he got a red to the left middle. The way he grabbed his chalk. 34. To me, maybe he's on nothing. Always look at the body language of player. He played a little bit of screw. I thought it was a stun shot more than the screw. Does this red go to the left middle? Oh, there's another one. This is tricky. Oh, what a shot. And he's hit it too hard. He's on nothing. 35. And that's the problem when you've got a difficult pot like that. You put all your concentration into the pot. And that's why you lose control of the cue ball. Heck of a pot, but nothing 
but a safety shot left. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 35. I wasn't sure that red was going to go in because at the pace he played it, it just grazed that near jaw and I'm sure many of my fellow professionals will attest to the fact that on the outside tables they're even nippier, these middle pockets. But on the TV table, conditions are just that more slidey, shall I say. There's less friction out there. The balls skid off the cushion rails and that's why sometimes the pockets can play slightly more generous on occasion. If there's been one disappointing aspect of Ronnie's game tonight, I'm a little bit disappointed with his long game. You'll have to brush up on that because against the top players, they're the ones you've got to be knocking in. Otherwise, you're dependent on your opponent. Well, there's the proof of the pudding. 25% long pot success. That's not good enough. Just one out of four. Certainly gone a little bit ragged in this frame, no, Stuart. He's hardly got past the bolt line here with any of his safety shots. As you say, probably a hangover from the last frame. Now, can Ronnie knock this long one in? That's more like it. Well. Mm, but he's on nothing. Just seemed to. I heard Mark Williams in his interview today. That it's sort of pinging off the cushions rather than coming off them. You know, at a natural pace. Yes, of course. I was in the studio this afternoon, and uh, Mark said the same thing. And that is the problem because when that happens, the cushions play more squarely as well. So the the, the angle of the balls rebounded from the cushion rails are, is also altered. As a result of the cushions playing quickly. Well, that was great, but how oh, beautifully did Ronnie strike that. Now, is he on a red? Six. That's how the science did it. Well, of course, there is a red down this right-hand side cushion. That could be the only one that Ronnie's on, but... Well... I suppose I'd fancy him to pot it if he takes it on. There's a thin cut as well to this left centre. Now, this is a little missable. Just wants Seven. one good cannon, doesn't he, Ronnie? <laughs> yeah, well, that's a bit better. He's potted a few good balls here. So the fact that his long ball percentage w wasn't showing as much, it wasn't bothering him. Let's put it that way. Well, I'm always amazed how good he is with the rest. Considering he plays so many shots left-handed, his, uh, his rest play is, uh, is as good as anybody. It really is. And I'm saying that before he's played the shot. I was just going to say, I'll never pop this now, John. Oh, he has. Well done. You've always got to call it as you see it, Dominic. Twelve. He had to settle for leaving the wrong angle on the blue, but nothing else you can do. Just got to avoid the ball colour here. Oh, and he didn't. Now that is a very poor shot. 18. 
for a player of this class to capture ball colour. Well, he nearly missed the blue, maybe that's why he did catch the pink. Oh, the yellow, sorry. That was more or less a player's shot Solomon. for nothing. 18. So he didn't make the most of a couple of good opening pots. But he's got a 53-point lead with 75 remaining. So, well, he may still have a path through to one of the reds near this left corner. Well, that's a very favourable outcome from Ronnie because or Ronnie rather, because the red and he can and there at the end of that shot has tied the black up. And with Ronnie holding a 53 point advantage, that's certainly to his advantage. Still 75 points remaining on the table, but well, you wouldn't think Stuart Carrington could win the frame from here. So Ronnie looking for two reds, two colours. There's the first one. What? And nicely on the pink. Didn't have to do much with this pink. Automatically would be on the red if he knocks it in. So now this red. Would put him 61 ahead with just 59 remaining. Eight. He's certainly getting some action here. He knows that another colour would have kept Stuart in his seat. Well, maybe he can get through to the yellow. He changes hands. You don't even notice now, do you? You don't even notice. And this red will keep Stuart Carrington in his seat. Ten. And Ronnie will be one frame away from a place in the next round. Eleven. Yes, I feel, still think Stuart Carrington's been struggling this frame ever since losing the last from a winning position. Ten. The pocket needs to stop short the ball line to be on a ball colour. It needs to slow up. Whoa. Has done. Yeah, the class of 92. My class of 92 was uh, the Neville brothers, Nicky Butt. <laughs> they were my class of 92. David Beckham. I won't tell you what team I support. Oh, they're footballers, are they? Four. 
Five. Boy, oh boy, don't you see that pole come off the second cushion there? It flew. Well, wonderful recovery, but Ten. this one, when it came off the third cushion, I can't believe how quick it came off. Eleven. Eighteen. Nineteen. Yeah, it sort of stopped Ron in his tracks a little bit. He saw it rebound from the cushion, he sort of stopped dead to see what was going to happen, see if he was going to finish nicely on a colour or not. Well, here's the key shot coming up here right 26. now. Oh, he's judged it so nicely. 27. A lot of players play that with a lot more pace and lose control of the cue ball, but Ronnie knew exactly what was going to happen there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and this type of shot, which... He usually seems to make it look so easy. I mean, if anything, he just ran through a little bit too far. But he's got to drop this in dead weight. Doesn't have to do anything with a cue ball, just pop the black. But pressure on this, but normally he cues these so beautifully. I mean, it really is. It's an art. And we're watching an artist. You have to say that. 34. Forty two. Forty three. Fifty. Fifty-one. Doesn't seem that long ago he had a red to go three-one in front, and now he'll be thinking he won't be getting another shot in this match. Fifty-eight. How quickly it can go away from him, particularly when you're playing someone 59. like Ronnie. Although he won't be happy with that. You have to play the pink to the far left corner. It's no gimme. there from Ronnie, that was a huge kick I think he suffered. Oh, but he's kept the break going with an excellent kink. Now back in business, he's playing the match. I'm short to be over, I feel. Just a red and a colour required. 65. 66. Tough school. 73. Say, he'll look back, Stuart. He had his chance. Ronnie, whose career century total at the moment is 1,040. 80. 81. Unbelievable centuries he's made. Can he get one here just to... Put the icing on the cake, Dominic. 87. 88. Well, he went back against him. He won't need the awkward red. That's on that left-hand side cushion. 90. Well, he's bouncing around the table on the O'Sullivan now. He knows this match is done and dusted now. Just trying to increase his average shot time and sure that's good. Just missed the cannon there, but you can have another go if it's in the green. Well, he's missed the green, he got the cannon though, but it doesn't matter. Stuart Carrington offered his hand in congratulation. Ronnie O'Sullivan began the match brightly with a break of 60, but lost the next two frames, but then found his mojo. And he goes through to the next round, a 4-2 winner.
There we go, a wave to the crowds as Ronnie O'Sullivan marches on into round three, disappears into the darkness. I think Carrington knew that he 